Before I started the Solar Taxi project, I've seen the world, I've been traveling the whole world, I've seen more than 60 countries and I've seen that people all over in the world talk about global warming. The weather is changing, climate is changing. At the same time, I see that the global resources for fossil fuels are coming to an end soon. We see that the prices for petrol are skyrocketing. We see that certain countries now invade other countries to get their petrol. And these are all developments which worry me. And uh, I just think I don't want to be part of this problem. I don't want to participate in all these things. I think I feel good when I know that I'm part of the solution. <laughs> What you see here is the first car that ever went around the world without petrol. I have driven so far about 70,000 kilometers. So it was uh, 38 countries that I've done. Now today the electricity that we get here in Israel is polluting the air because it's uh, from gas or from coal. But in the future we should have energy from the Shemesh here in the grid. Yeah, many countries in the world are changing now from the coal power, they go to solar power or to wind power because that's a clean energy. And for global warming, for this issue, we have to have clean energies. The surprising thing about what I'm doing with the solar taxi is that everybody loves it. Everybody is happy about it. Everybody gives the thumbs up. Whenever cars are overtaking me here in Israel or everywhere in the world, the thumbs go up. I've never seen a thumb going down. People accept this car, they look at this car, they know immediately that this is a car of the future. And that gives me a lot of energy to continue and I know I'm on the right track. I don't know about Israel, but I, I know in Switzerland we have made calculations that if we cover all the good rooftops of Switzerland with solar panels, we could supply 40% of the electric demand for Switzerland with solar power. And Israel has 35% or even 50% more sunshine than Switzerland. So I'm, I'm absolutely sure that I think in Israel you could probably even cover 100% of all your electric needs with solar power. not certain that I can achieve my goal but at least I can try so when I'm going to turn 80 in 40 years from now when I'm going to die I don't want to tell myself why did I not try to do a difference and um, I think I'm very happy that I've I've tried <laughs> ¶¶